destroy them in no time! Done. this looks like things are getting pretty crazy the blasty is out of control it looks like zoggy smashing up that control panel did more damage than we thought so, so what the hell are we gonna do about this thing wait i don't think waiting is going to do us any good no i think i get it look at that uh, what is that air is being transferred at a tremendous rate there can only be one place something this big could be sending that much power. A part on the Heracles that requires the most power. A cannon? If we were to destroy this Blastia now, it might stop Heracles. But the cannon could go off and blow Zophias clean off the map! No way! So what should we do? Well, whatever we do, we have to stop this air. De Nomos, huh? Oh yeah! That's what Duke used to get the air back under control! Can you really do that? I don't really have a choice. Get ready! I'm taking you down!
Get ready. I'm taking you down. So is that okay? That's what it's down to. If Heracles keeps going, we can kiss Zapius goodbye. Not to mention that cannon might decide to go off. Yeah, we have to act now! Thank you. Huh? It stopped? What about the cannon? Not good. At this rate, it's gonna fire! No way! We shut the power off! I was really worried there for a second. That's some friend you have. <laughs> there he goes again, showing off as usual. Hey, am I the only one who heard a voice when you cut the apatheia? No. That might have been the voice of whatever Antelakea it used to be. It was like the consciousness within the Apatheia willed the air back to normal. I think we're done here. Now we've got to get to Zophius to rescue Estelle. I'll call Ba'ul. We we've lost too much time getting sucked into this Heracles decoy business. Let's hurry! Well, the air back to normal. The Apatheia and Air, the Rizomata formula and Estelle. Whew! That was a close call! I did not want to watch the lower quarter get destroyed right in front of me. We owe your friend a debt of thanks. He's not too subtle, though. He went ahead with his knights and all of us still in here. Flynn would do just about anything to defend the capital, and he'd use his own body to shield everyone else. That's his thing. Kid's got more nerve than I gave him credit for. What'd you expect? He's Yuri's friend.
should really enjoy these little times together. I'm just getting started. I'm not done yet. I'm not used to this team. like it's in trouble. Oh no! This is not good. Judging from the tilt, those ships are taking on water. If they don't pick up the pace, they're gonna sink! Isn't that Flynn yelling down there? Doesn't look like there's any way to break away from that. I feel bad for doing this to Flynn, but we really need to get going. Are you sure? You're gonna get an earful later. I'm used to his lectures. Judy, take us out of here. Baul! Baul, head towards the capital. Yeah, thanks. Everyone, get on. You won't get away this time, Alexei. Is doing too. That guy's just doing whatever he wants. Ready to go in? Take us there. Estelle, where could you be? Where do we even start looking in a city this big? We follow the airflow. 
If Alexei is using Estelle and Apatheia in his plans, it has to cause a disturbance in the air. Baul! He found it. There! Estelle! And Alexei's right there with her. <sighs> Judy, take us closer! I'm alive. <sighs> Did everybody make it? I'll be all right. <sighs> I'm alive, but I can't say much more than that. Feels like I might have snapped a few bones. This ship's a mess, too. You won't get away with this, Alexei. Ow! Ow, ow! Yuri! It hurts! That thing Estelle did. It was like Day Nomos. Must be what happens when you get a few Epithea together at once. Don't try to talk. We're gonna get you both to a doctor. Try and hang in there for a little longer. Thank you, old friend. Looks like Baul won't be able to give us a lift for a while. No. He'll have to rest somewhere until his wounds are healed. You've done more for us than we could ask. Take care and rest well. Plenty to worry about without thinking about Estelle. I, if we go after Alexei like this, we're sure to get our butts handed to us. It seems we're somewhere near Kapu Noor. Let's go to Noor Harbor. There's bound to be a doctor there. Yeah. I don't like that sky. The air is boiling like thunderclouds. A mean storm brewing. What the heck is going on? 
Is this a sign we're about to get hit with some kind of disaster? I just finished building my house for crying out loud! They're really in an uproar. Not that I blame them. I'll bet things are pretty crazy in the capital, too. Where did you come from? Did you hear anything? No, we were... Why are all of you here? You look terrible. What happened to you? Oh, it's you. We've been through a lot. Do you know any doctors around here? Sure, I know a doctor, but... Well, do you think you might be able to bring the doc to the inn? We're too beat to even walk anymore. All right, I'll be back soon. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank goodness you came. You'd return from Helliard then? Yes. I still can't thank you enough for your help before. Oh, hello there. Are you with them too? Aye! What? Do you know them? After I got Polly back to his home, they let me sleep over and eat with them. Oh, right. After you left Rago's palace. Now that there's a new magistrate, Nor had become a much nicer place to live. But now, with that sky looking the way it is... Hey, mister! Hey, mister! Did you hear it? There was a loud sound like BOOM! And then everything was shaking like an earthquake! A town official is currently going to see what happened. Hey... Where's that nice lady who was with you? Is she gone? Uh... Now that I think of it, that girl would have been able to heal your wounds. What happened to her? A certain worthless idiot handed her over to the bad guy. Now we're chasing after them. <laughs> I see. I guess I shouldn't have asked. I'm sorry, but she's away for today. Oh, really? Don't worry. The next time we come, we'll bring her with us for sure. Really? <laughs> Yay! For now, you should just get some rest. Excellency, it's horrible! The road, the road, it's gone! <sighs> There's a giant hole on the other side of a mead hill! It's burning hot all around it. I wasn't able to get very close. What? J just like that? I suppose that's what all that rumbling was earlier. Even if we were able to get near that hole, getting across it would be impossible. No one will be able to go past a mead hill like this. So then... Nor is cut off from everyone else? This is bad. This is real bad. Could this be the blast from the Heracles cannon? What have they done?
So it did end up hitting something after all. Thankfully, it missed hitting any of the towns. You guys sure you're all right? No, I heard all over. Estelle's in trouble. I can't just lie around. Yeah, what he said. What's our next move, though? If the road to Emmied Hill is out, couldn't we take a boat around? I'm afraid not. A little while back, the Knights came and took any boat that could make a long trip. Thanks to them, the harbor's dead empty. How about repairing the Fiertia and heading round by sea? The keel's all smashed up, so it'll take a while to fix it. Damn, at a time like this. Well, there is one way, but I'm just not sure how I feel about recommending it to you. If it'll get us through, but we've got to get to the capital fast. I'm afraid it'll end up taking you out of your way, but... If you go north, just before Emmied Hill, there's a thin strip of coastline. It'll eventually come to a dead end, but in this season it freezes over and becomes an ice flow. The Blade Drifts of Zophair. Right. If you're lucky, you should be able to make your way across the flow on the ice. So in other words, if we go across there, we can take a detour to the middle of the continent. The Blade Drifts of Zophair, huh? I heard nobody goes there. Not even fishermen, because of the stories. You're also gambling on nature here, so there's no guarantee you'll be able to get through. Nature, after all, is more often the enemy of man. Quite the keen observation, Patty. If that's our only way, then we'll have to go for it. Okay, let's do it. Thanks for your help. Least I can do. There wouldn't be much left of this family if it weren't for you all. Only thing I'll ask is that you don't disappoint my boy. You got it! Estelle said something just before her power was fully activated, didn't she? What do you think she was trying to say? Sorry, Old Raven didn't catch it. <sighs> Yuri? Like an easy win. One shot should do. You'll be gone soon enough. That's it, that's it! Oh my god! I'll blow you away! Try this more! Hey! Divide the flame! Oh, nice moves! That was a nice little break. Destroy them in no time! That's it, that's it! Moonbeam! 
bowels wounds heal quickly? My, is that concern I hear in your voice? Well, yeah. I mean, we've been asking too much of him, really. It will take some time, but he should recover. He's quite a fighter, you know. Oh, good. So don't worry, okay, Rita? All right, I just... Hey! I'm the one giving out the sympathy here! You really must learn to control that temper. Watch my back! Odin of this modest life! Dragon Slayer! Very cold. Okay, old man, we get it already. The aged have lower body temperatures, you know? Ah, what I wouldn't give for the heat of that desert. You're gonna slip and fall if you don't shut up. Oops, too late. Watch it there. We old folks are fragile. Uh, sorry. Man, this is really some place. Sort of a cross between mysterious and... Just plain creepy. There are swords coming up out of the ice. Yeah, they seem to be all over. They're relics of a battle that happened long ago between pirates and the Empire. Hmm. N now that you mention it, I I've heard about that. You're just full of information, aren't you? It's stuff that I picked up when I was researching about Ifri. I thought Zophair got its name from the sharp cold, but I guess I was wrong. I don't think you were too far off with cold as a void. <laughs> what? What's wrong with him? Ah! Whoa! Huh? What was that? It's big! Is that an Entelikea? No. I don't sense intelligence in it. So it's a monster, right? We'd be in trouble if that thing attacked us. It's a Vita Joe. A monster with a rigid, sparkly back and a super strong body. It shouldn't bother us if we leave it alone. Forget about it. Let's go. Carol! Huh? Oh, right! Feel like an easy win. One shot should do. Ready? Yeah. Oh, incandescent locust. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Them. No! Oh, it. Oh, that's it! That's it! Is that your best? Ha, ha, Come ha. for it! Come avaricious ha. Ha. like this? Ha. 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 me! Bye-bye!
to take a chill pill. It looks like he's taken a liking to us. I prefer dates who are a little less aggressive. I wonder if we can catch it somehow. You want to eat it or something? Cold water fish have more fat to insulate their bodies from the low temperatures, making them oh so delicious. White meat is just perfect for skewers. Uh, that's not a fish, you know. That thing's a monster. This is awesome! Destruction strikes! That's it, that's it! Destruction strikes! Take this! That's it, that's it! Alright. Glimmer of heaven! Wow! Destruction We're done. Go. <laughs> I got water up my nose. <laughs> so salty, so cold. You sure are energetic, old man. If we sit, sit around t t talking, we're gonna f freeze our butts off. <laughs> Patty, this would be a great time for some of your piping hot skewers. It's frozen! Uh, uh, <laughs> How annoying. Still, I'll make this quick. I guess I can fight. Pass roll! Try and roll! Pass 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 ro
We need something nice. Let's let in one of the girls. That means you're out, Raven. Uh, no. <sighs> seems to have times when it bothers us and times when it leaves us alone with it. Yeah, I don't like it one bit. If we stand on really thick ice, I don't think that we need to worry about being attacked. If that thing comes at us, we can just kick its butt. I'd really prefer not fighting something like that head on at the moment. Let's get back to land as soon as we can. And back to someplace warm. <laughs> over. I feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. That's it, that's it! Not bad! Fireball! strength is a secret. Dry up. 
This area doesn't seem desolate enough for that, though. Everyone be on your guard. Oh, man! Th there it is again! We're up on this rock, right? We'll be fine. Or not. And they were no- Like an easy win. I guess I'll go easy on them. Dragon Swarm! Incandescent Locus! Dragon Swarm! We're done. Hey! It's an air. Huh. It's not putting. This air. Everyone be. Oh man! We're up on the... Or not.
Traffic was awful. You doing all right? Yeah, of course. All right, let's pay this guy back double for all those knocks you took. Thank you. 
sorry we left you alone. We're with you this time. We're gonna do this together this time. Thanks. I'll finish it this time. Do it. Let's finish him off. You're being too easy on the kid. We are brave Vesperia.
Pepsi on the items. Sorry. I'm using this. Hunkering blaze. Burn. Protect the guild! Don't try to do everything alone. Show off! But very well. Ooh, that's nice. That's the logical outcome. I just keep getting stronger! We did it! You idiot! What were you thinking doing that alone? Carol! Carol! Hey, Carol! Come on, keep it together, kid. He's all right. Once he calmed down, it all went out of him. <sighs> this kid. What if you checked out before we even rescued Estelle? Cut him a little slack now. Facing down challenges like that is part of becoming a man. Not to mention he saved our butts. Yeah, we would have been lunch without Carol. <clears throat> Facing down challenges. Exactly. Those times when you just know you can't turn tail and run. Hell, everybody has those moments at least once in their life. Let's get out of here quickly. Carol's weak. This can't be good for him. Right. I owe you one, boss. That was very impressive. Why'd you have to go and be a hero? Seriously, when is that kid gonna learn to be a good boy and act his age? I've never seen him show courage like that. I swear I lost a year off my life just watching him. Well, we almost lost our entire lives, so we owe him one. But that was just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I know. We have to watch him and make sure he doesn't do anything crazy again. Yeah, I'm through losing precious years of my life to that boy's antics. They're actually agreeing for once. We all share a pride in what Carol did for us, each in our own way. <laughs> it just comes a little easier for some of us.
could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up. That's it, that's it! Come forth, you avaricious That's over. Yeah, I feel good. I'm just getting started. <sighs> hey, does that look like an exit to anybody else? Tired already? We old folks lack stamina. Judith, be a dear and take him for a spell. Oh, I wouldn't dream of stealing your job from you. Carol, you're awake, aren't you? No, I'm not. Ugh. Wow, Carol, you're really good at pretending to be asleep. Forcing a poor old man to work in this cold. Mr. Carol, you're made of tougher stuff than I might have guessed. Feeling better, Carol? Yeah. We were really worried about you. Me too. You didn't look that worried to me. Really? That's weird. <clears throat> Just never do that again, okay? We're all in this together. Okay. Mind telling me what's so funny? Hey, easy, Yuri. I was just remembering something the Dawn said. Take care of your friends and they'll be there when you need them. Yeah. I was thinking maybe this is the kind of thing he meant. Well, if you feel like you understand what he said, I'm sure you're on the right track. I hope so. All right. The exit's right in front of us. Everything all right? Yeah. I was just thinking that maybe all the ice here was made by the air. The ice? From the... Well, if all things are made up of air, that would make sense. The air crene here was actually quite stabilized. Enough for a monster to control it. Maybe, if huge quantities of air could be made solid, it would help stabilize things. You mean something like that could restore the air imbalance and stop the disturbances? I'm not sure. It would probably need to be more efficient, and it would take a lot more air. It sure would be awesome if we could do that, though. So, you want to stay here and research this air crane? No, there isn't time for that. Yeah, and we've already burned enough time here as it is. Let's go. Estelle, please be okay. Once we're out of here, let's ask somebody about what's happening in the capital. Sure thing. If we want news of the situation in the capital, wouldn't going to Halur be the safest bet? Good call. Not only do they have a barrier, we can rest while we're there. Well, some shut-eye sounds good to me. Well, if that's that, then let's get moving. I'm damn near frozen to the bone as it is. Try it! Back wall! Dragon Swarm! Back wall! 
Watch my back. That's over. There sure are a lot of people here. They're refugees from the capital. See how they're all well-dressed? It looks like there's nothing unusual with the barrier here for now. <sighs> Carol, are you okay? Looks like he ain't okay at all. He's got a bad fever. He really overexerted himself. All because he had to go and be a hero. I s Yuri. Huh? Oh, sorry. Let's go to the end so that Carol can rest. It's actually nice to be back. Oh. It all started with trying to recover that aquablastia. Couldn't have guessed then we'd be heading out on a trip that spanned the globe. <coughs> Don't worry, Repeat. I'm the same guy now that I was then. It isn't me. It's the situation that's changed. Yeah, it's just a new set of circumstances.
Hello, and welcome to Denabola Inn. Don't worry about paying. Huh? Why? Probably because we don't look like we have any money. Well, you see, an important official is visiting the mayor's house right now, and it's by his orders. The government's handling the money for the inn so that anyone can stay here for free. That must be for all the refugees that have come to the town. Circumstances being what they are, it takes the fun out of it. But our business is booming, thanks to all the visitors to our town. Sounds like a good deal for the Empire. So does that mean you don't have any vacancies? You're in luck. I have one room that's not taken. <sighs> then I'll take that room, thank you. Hey there, no cutting in line. Of course, I wouldn't think of not paying. I'll pay ten times the regular price. I'll also give the same amount to you travelers. That should settle things nicely, yes? You son of a- Oh, I'm so sorry. 
I took another look at the register, and it seems that I don't actually have any vacancies. So sorry. What? I knew this town was in the sticks, but this is... Honey, let's just go on to Heliord from Nor Harbor. Well said. I should be thankful we don't soil our clothing in a filthy little hovel like this. We're gonna be in for a nasty surprise when they try to go to Port Nor. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Your room is upstairs, in front. What? But you said there weren't any vacancies. Business is business, right? Yes, don't worry about it. I can't stand people like that. And wasn't it you who saved Halur's tree? This is the least I can do. Enjoy your stay. All those refugees. The capital must be in a sorry state. What evil you think that bastard Alexei is going to perpetrate next? There's no way I'm letting Alexei get away with all the stuff he's done. Who cares about Alexei? Estelle, I want to save Estelle. Yes, but to do that, we need to take care of Alexei. And we need to come up with a better plan to do it. We can't let ourselves get blasted all the way back to Nor Harbor again. <sighs> well, we can't go anywhere till Carol gets better. So we might as well gather some info around town, don't you think? Good idea. Someone might end up saying just the thing we need to hear. Wasn't the innkeeper saying that someone important from the capital was in the mayor's house? Let's go and have a look-see. Old man? Someone's got to look after the boy, don't they? Leave that to me. You... Oh, I'm so glad you were all safe. Huh. You did this, right? Had the inn open its rooms free of charge? And just who are you? Watch your tongue. Do you know to whom you are... There are many who have escaped with only the shirts on their backs. I felt this was one service their country could provide for them. Hmm, okay. Actually, I'm more interested in what you can tell me about the capital. The capital? Zophius is no longer a city fit for any person. The city's barrier Blastia began giving off a great light, and the town was racked by earthquakes and lightning. However, the real terror came after that. A glowing fog appeared from the barrier Blastia and quickly spread throughout the city. The plants it touched grew hideously large, and the water became poison. It was hell itself. The air is out of control. Oh, that such dire events could befall Zophius, jewel of our glorious empire. If the air has covered the entire city, what is he doing to her? Th this is that turncoat Alexei's doing. I'm sure of it. He came to us demanding our obedience. And when we refused, he swore he would reduce us to dust. Alexei? That beast even had the gall to t turn the royal guard on us after we made our escape. Then how did you come all this way unharmed? Flynn held them off for us. It is thanks to him that we refugees arrived here safely. If he hadn't come to our aid just then, we all would have died. Oh, I'd love to hear more about how great Flynn is, believe me. But I haven't seen anyone from the lower quarter here. What happened to them? I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone either. They must have been left behind, with all that air flooding out. It was all we could do to save ourselves. With all that was happening, we were unable to take everyone with us. We did all we could. You must understand. Oh yeah? Hey. I'll be at the end. His Highness is. It sounds like the entire capital's been covered in air. 
And the one in the middle of it all is most likely. That's insane. If he's using Estelle to cause all of that, then oh, she can't handle that. Who knows how much of a toll it takes on her each time she's forced to use her power. She was already having problems controlling it. Now there's no telling what will happen to her. What if... What if we get there too late and... Even if we take out Alexei, she... Do... Do you think maybe there's a way to get her power under control? There is. There has to be. We just haven't found it yet. Ah. Uh, hmm. Flynn's doing what he can, but it's not enough. They don't have De Nomos. Hmm. I'll try asking Pharaoh. It would be good to know how much time we have left. <sighs> Yuri! Hey, did we wake you up? How are you feeling? Looks like I slowed you guys down again. You're going to the capital, right? Don't worry about that now. We're still figuring out what to do. You just get better. Yeah. I just don't want to be left behind, okay? Our whole guild is gonna rescue Estelle! I know. Why don't you try and get some more sleep, huh? Okay. I can't seem to reach him. The air may be causing interference. No big deal. Either way, it's just a matter of making Alexei sorry he ever started this, right? And nothing more? I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Keep an eye on Carol for me. Yuri! What's with a long face? You don't need to worry about me. <laughs> a job nobody wants to do. Are you going out alone? I don't think that's any of your highness's concern. I want to know how things are in the lower quarter, so I'm just gonna go take a look. The council has decided to bring formal charges of criminal conspiracy against Alexei. The knights are currently forming a strategy for re-entering the capital from Dayton Hold. With all that air in the city? <laughs> I doubt they'll get very far. Esteliz is with Alexei, isn't she? How did... So you caught on, huh? I wondered why you didn't bring her up earlier. What do you intend to do about her? What do you mean? All those who carry the Imperial blood possess a certain power. In most of us, it is too faint to be of use. But I have heard that hers is extraordinary. I'm sure it was for this reason that the Council threw their support behind her. Why are you bringing this up now? Isn't this current disaster being caused by her power? So what if it is? The Knights may have to... You are aware that defeating Alexei may not be enough. That's not going to happen. Because you'll do it yourself? Flynn told me about you, that you always try to carry far too much on your own shoulders. You can tell him that we'll be just fine without the help. But why? I thought I told you this isn't your concern. That sword. Perhaps you are just the person it was waiting for. Keep talking, and I'll try it out on you. Forgive me. Hold still. I'll make this quick. Dragon Sword! Man, could you be any weaker? Who's next? Alright, who's next?
Man, could you be any weaker? All right, who's next? Hey, that's... <laughs> I remember when Estelle ate that Nia fruit. Oh, come to think of it, it's been a long time since we've been on our own, huh, pal? I haven't been feeling like myself, even when I'm fighting. It's like I'm tired all of a sudden. You mind keeping an eye out for a while, Repeat? for later. Huh? For now, you can drop dead. Whoa! Such excitement. Hey there, sunshine. Still living? Maybe. Well, it looks like you're awake now. How nice. Jeez, Repeat. What happened to keeping a lookout? He led us right to you, like a good boy. He's pretty clever, you know. Yeah, he told us if we came this way, we'd see the biggest fool in the world. Do you guys know what's going on? Do you really understand what has to happen after this? You're the one who doesn't understand! Carol... You can't... This is one thing you can't just do on your own, Yuri! What were you trying to prove? How far did you think you'd get without us? Yuri, even if you leave us behind thinking you don't need us, we're still gonna search the whole world from top to bottom until we find you. What it boils down to is, it's no fair keeping all the fun and glory to yourself. Would it hurt for you to believe in us a little bit more? We believe in you, Yuri! Yeah, I mean, we're your friends! You got me, guys. All right then, we're all in this together. I. Right! Um, duh! <laughs> So let's go do this thing. The way out of the forest is right over there. I wonder if the world will benefit if Prince Yoder becomes emperor. Who knows? What kind of weak answer is that? I thought you'd be at least a little optimistic. Well, he'll have Flynn around. That should help things a little. But only a little? I'm not so wide-eyed and innocent to think that major change is going to happen overnight. That sounds like you, all right. <laughs> 